course. Well, today, the final day for the Ohio State Fair, and with attendance down 14% as of Wednesday, fair officials were hoping closing weekend would be big. NBC4's Tyler Carter shows us some of the unique attractions drawing in a crowd on closing day. When you come to a state fair, you don't really think about experiencing nature. I mean, just look at this beautiful butterfly garden. The Ohio Department of Natural Resources is shaking things up this year with some educational tools, and it's all for the kids. The Ohio Department of Natural Resources challenged kids throughout the 12 days of the state fair to get down and dirty while learning about water quality with their new scenic sensory pool. One of the great things about our Office of Scenic Rivers is they have a stream quality monitoring program where you can actually get your hands dirty, get in the river, find these creeper crawler bugs, and actually, it actually tells you the health of a river. Nature in general interests me, and this is actually the first time I've seen something like this at the fair, and it was really cool and interesting. Around the corner, you will find Smokey the Bear as he says his final goodbyes to fairgoers. <laughs> Smokey, like, somehow he, like, comes alive. I think it's the eyes that, um, like, he, like, scans a person and be like, he can tell like how old they are. This year, ODNR wanted fairgoers to enjoy the traditional features of the nature park, like hanging out with Smokey, but also introduce new educational learning activities, from this butterfly garden to fishing and even picking up the skill of archery. We have a new archery and air gun range. We can take 10 kids in each at a time. Uh, and again, it's something fun for the kids to do. All of these new activities ODNR hopes to bring back to the fair next year. The gates tonight close at 7 o'clock here at the Ohio State Fair. Tyler Carter, NBC4.